When you go for a walk in the countryside, you hope to see lots of animals. But how many are native to Britain? Although common throughout Northern Europe, red squirrel numbers in Britain have reduced drastically in recent years due to the loss of habitat and the introduction of the grey squirrel from North America. Squirrels make a nest of twigs and line it with moss, leaves and bark. A female squirrel will produce her first litter at the age of two and those that survive their first winter have a life expectancy of three years. Badgers are members of the same family as stoats and weasels. They eat both plants and animals but mainly feed on earthworms. This badger has found a convenient log pile to lean against and do a spot of sunbathing. Red deer inhabit most of Europe and migrated to Britain 11,000 years ago. They tend to be reddish brown in colour and have adapted to live in a woodland environment. Only stags have antlers which start growing in spring and are shed at the end of winter. This hind has a newly born calf and is licking it to encourage it to stand. At first the other deer take no notice but when the calf gets to its feet and tries to suckle, the other hinds approach to see what is going on. This calf will be two months old before it is fully weaned. Then it will stay with its mother for a further ten months. It was originally thought that the Normans introduced fallow deer, but remains found at Fishbourne indicate that the Romans introduced them as a food source in the 1st century AD. Back with the red deer, the calf has found its feet and follows mum up the field. Not native to Britain are muntjac deer. Originally from Asia, they were introduced to large country estates and around 1925 some escaped from Woburn Abbey and founded the large feral population we have today. It is anticipated that they may soon become the most numerous species of deer in England and may have also crossed the border into Scotland. Foxes can be found all over Britain. Traditionally they lived in rural areas, however in recent time urban foxes have become more and more common drawn by discarded takeaway meals and food in rubbish bins. Living in small family groups, they have a lifespan of three to four years. Surprisingly, rabbits are not native, but were brought here 900 years ago by the Normans. They were an important source of food and their fur was used for clothing. Thanks to conservation, our native otter is making a comeback. Living near water, they are superb swimmers and eat fish, frogs and small mammals. The stoat is a small but highly active and efficient predator and can be found all over the British Isles. We finish with an animal that is unique to the UK. The water vole is an endangered species and its habitat is protected by law.